Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 7. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about how can we add a style sheets file to our custom theme. If I back to our directory, now this is so far what we have developed about the structure of index.php file. Now if we open header.php, now inside this header, we have no currently attached any CSS file. And I think so that inside this field, there is no website which have no CSS. It means we need to actually learn to get idea about that how can we attach our CSS to our custom theme. So here we are just taking a simple example to understand that in our upcoming videos when we will use a simple bootstrap theme. So inside that theme we will see about the attachment of that bootstrap CSS files as well as JavaScript files. So inside this video what I will do this is our custom theme. So let's say that inside this I am to create let's say assets. This is a folder in which we are going to store our images, JavaScript files as well as images files, sorry CSS files. So what I will do, the basic approach to attach any style sheets or let's say JavaScript files inside our theme, first of all we need to make use of some WordPress functions. Then we need to use some action hook. By the help of that action hook, we are going to enqueue our assets file inside our theme. So what I will do, go inside assets folder and inside this assets folder, let's create one more folder with the name of CSS. Inside this CSS folder, what I am going to do, we are going to save a file something with the name of theme.css. In any website, we have Multiple, multiple ways to attach our style files. Either we can make our custom CSS in that file by using our style tag or we can make a third party file like theme.css do code our style sheets inside this and attach finally to our theme and the third way to use our inline CSS. The best way to use about to making a separate file something with the name of .css extension. So what I will do inside this file let's say that this is theme CSS file needs to attach inside this custom theme. Now let's say that inside this file we have bunch of lines of CSS codes and we are going to attach this CSS file to our custom theme. So inside this theme directory we have a file inside this template hierarchy something with the name of functions.php. The name itself clears that the functions.php is the functional part of any WordPress theme. If we go inside this 2019 theme we can find all about functions.php and here it is. This is the functional file of this 2019 theme. Again if we go inside this 2020, here we have functions.php. So we also want a functions.php a functional file inside this theme. So what I will do, I am go and create a new file with the name of functions.php. Inside this, we will make a function. Inside that function, we will use some WordPress functions to attach our CSS files and in upcoming videos, we will attach JavaScript files and by the help of our action hook, we are going to call that function to enqueue our CSS files. So let's say that php function simple basic theme. This is the name of Let's load scripts. This is the name of our theme directory and we are going to load our scripts. So inside this, first of all, let's say attach theme.css file. Now let's say that we have done all the coding inside this and finally we are going to call our action hook inside this. Add action is a WordPress function which is used to trigger our action hooks. 
it is going to take some parameters like action name as well as the callback function. So how can we attach our CSS file? This is our question. If we back to our Google search and type here something WP in QS style, this is a WordPress function which is used and responsible to attach or enqueue any style sheets file. Here we can find several links inside this, but go inside this developer.wordpress.org and this is the documentation. Now we need to understand about, about its parameters. So this is WordPress function, WP in Q style, and here we need to pass our file ID. This is handle. It will be unique throughout the application of that custom theme. It is the name. So what I will do step by step if I copy this function name back here, let's say WP in key style and here we need to provide our file ID. So let's say theme CSS. This is the ID we are going to provide. Inside this second parameter, we need to pass our source file path. It means file name. Go here. Let's say that get template directory and it is going to return about our directory URL and also we need to attach URI here. So get template directory URI. What is going to do? It is going to return the path up to this simple basic theme. After going through this theme, next we need to go inside this assets folder. So let's assets. Inside that we have a CSS directory and we have a file called theme.css. Now this is the way to give our CSS file path. Now next, inside these parameters, we have now dependency. Let's say that we are going to develop any plugins inside WordPress related to Gutenberg. So inside that plugin development, it is going to depend on some inbuilt CSS of Gutenberg. So if suppose our CSS file is dependent on any of the existing CSS files, then we need to provide the CSS file name inside this array. So right now, there is no dependency. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave blank inside this array. Here we need to provide our dependency file names. Next parameter we have called version. So inside this, let's say that this is the file of 1.0 version. And in the next parameter, we will have by default all value. Media indicates that this CSS file is applicable to all the devices what we have or any specific device. So by default, it is going to support for all devices. So go here and passing all value. All we have done with this WP inquest style. Now next, we need to call the action hook called WP NQ and here we have the action hook name called WP inquest scripts. In the next, we need to copy this function name and passing it here all we have done. So if we save this change, back here, reload this page. Now if I press Ctrl U, now there is no CSS linking. So what we have done so far? We didn't do anything because as we know that we have enqueued file, but we are not able to render that. So here we have another WordPress function to load all the contents or let's say loading a scripts file inside this functions.php. So back to header.php and we are going to use a WordPress function and the function name is something called WP head. So all the dynamic contents what we want to load at header, this function is responsible. Now, if we want to load any contents inside footer, wp underscore footer is another function. So let's understand about wp hat first. So we have enqueued this style at header. So it is going to attach or enqueue and finally render all the contents of this theme.css inside this. So if we save this change, reload this page and as we can see that a bunch of lines of code automatically added by wp hat function. 
it is going to render by default called das icons.min.css admin bar and several CSS file links. It is automatically done by WP hat function. Now we need to search all about theme.css file and here as we can see that this is our file ID means theme-css what we have provided inside here and automatically hyphen CSS added that. Inside this, this is our complete file path so if we click on that, this is our file linking and the version what we have passed as 1.0 we can find here with the file. So this is the guys to attach any of the style sheets file in WordPress. Now let's say that here already we have a style.css file inside this custom theme. So how can we add? As we know that any WordPress theme have style.css. This is the file which is most important as because it contains all about theme basic sets of introduction part. So how can we attach? Back to functions.php. So we are going to do a special thing for that file something wp in quiz style this is the function inside this function the first parameter we need to pass our handle name so let's say style simply theme style let's say theme hyphen style and inside this second parameter instead of using all these stuff what i'm going to do we are going to use another function something get style seat URI and if we save this change back to browser reload this page and if we search about theme hyphen style and as we can see that this is our theme file what we have attached if I go here comment this line reload this page and if we search about theme hyphen style there is no file with this name so it means that by using this get style seats URI automatically it picked about style.css file inside this theme. Now while passing these parameters if we want to pass then we can copy and pass it here. So if we save this change go here reload this page and search for theme style and here is the file. So this is the way guys to how can we attach our style sheets file inside custom theme. So this will be something style.css. In the next video, we will learn about how can we attach JavaScript files inside our custom theme development. And remember, after doing all this stuff, we need to call WP head here. Otherwise, it is not going to add any file linkings from this file to our HTML template. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.